This is going to be a very small video, a very short video, but it's very important because we are going to introduce the rate of reaction law. So for many reactions, for example, let's say we have reactant A and reactant B, they turn out to be products in a reaction, we may actually get this ratio or relationship. The rate of reaction of A, just to remember, small of A that is disappearing for unit volume per unit time, may be modeled as a constant that multiplies this function or that have this function of concentration of A or maybe a concentration of B and I'm just telling it's a function of concentration. I'm not telling you that it's literally going to be multiplying the concentrations, which in some cases is true. But maybe I just tell you that when you increase concentration of A, you increase the rate of reaction. You don't know, maybe it's a square, maybe it's to the first power, maybe, I don't know, maybe even CA and CB. So the concentration of A and if you increase the concentration of B, you increase the rate of reaction. And in general, you want to increase the rate of reaction because you want a faster reaction. But I mean in general because if you have a very, very explosive reaction, well, then the, it's the reverse case. You want to slow the reaction. But in general, we are going to produce reactions or we, want, we are going to produce materials. So in that case, we want to produce them as fast as possible. So just to let you know that K, this constant, is only a function of temperature. So higher temperature increases K, and if we increase K, we increase our rate of reaction. And then the concentration of reactants also. You increase re the concentration of reactants, and in general, you're going to increase this. As you can see, there is no product concentration involved. I didn't wrote concentration of products. But there are some cases in which it actually needs to be accounted but in general, we're going to suppose it's not. That's more advanced reactions, which we are not going to see, or at least we're going to see a, just a small overview. And this is a rate law. A rate law is essentially something that varies, or the rate of uh, reaction that varies with respect of concentration. And yeah, let me show you this in another video. What's up guys, it's me, Chemical Engineering Guy. So if you like the video, why not push the like button? It really helps me to know if you're liking the videos or if I should be changing something or if I should be adding something, taking out content, whatever. Also, sharing is caring. So if you got any kind of friends, teachers, colleagues or whatever kind of person that might be interested in this type of content, why not share it? Sharing helps our community to grow faster in members and in content. If you want to keep track of my activity, videos, uploads, experiments, playlists, whatever content I'm getting on YouTube, be sure to click the subscribe button. Subscribing to the channel is totally free, guys. My dream is to create an online academy of chemical engineering, where everyone can access it in the world. Imagine a place in which the student, the teacher, and the engineer get the best of each other. Thank you, thank you, thank you guys for the support and the love.